Hey boo, welcome back, but if you're new here, my name's Carolyn Gray, and welcome to the channel. Typically, I like to post videos on Tuesdays and Friday evenings based on fashion and my entrepreneurship journey. So, today's a little bit of a special situation because uh, yesterday I wasn't able to upload this, but today we're going to get it cracking because tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so this is a special edition. What would I wear to Thanksgiving? Depending if you're a host, if you're a house guest, if you're at home by yourself, whatever the case may be, or you're with family or different friends' family, because usually that's how we do it. My family doesn't really do Thanksgiving in that traditional way. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have like a little cold. So we just pull up to different houses and, you know, kiki and grab a plate and roll, you know what I mean? But this year, personally, Carlos and I are staying home by ourselves because he is getting a tooth extractor, so soft foods for him. And I'm just gonna cook a few sides. We ordered crabs from Maryland. So I just got a little creative in my head, like, hmm, if we did have the opportunity to go to XYZ's home or to host a huge dinner here, how would I prepare the ensemble? So I got to thinking, let's do a couple of outfits, starting with literally this sweatsuit set that I got from Maritzia that I've worn too many times and haven't even put in the washer yet. But I digress. Judge yourself. Let's get started, okay? Actually, really quickly before we get into the fits, can we talk about fragrances? Because, I mean, I imagine we're going to be doing a lot of hugging, right? And we've, we haven't seen a lot of people in a long time, so let's give them a smell good to remember us by, right? These are a few fragrances that I would rock for the hugs and things, okay? All right, let's start off with Melin and Goet's Dark Rum. This has been like a staple in my life for like the past, I don't know, seven years maybe? Child, this is like, it's a very, um, I'll do a smell, i do a smell-a-thon with you. It's, it's like plum but fig a little slightly sandalwoody it's just it's earthy but dark fruit does that make sense is that a thing it's just and it's very subtle it doesn't overwhelm the sinuses you know what i mean it's very ground it's very sweet it's it smells endearing it's one of my favorites dark rum the other one which is honestly my year-round situation. Dark rum is more of like my fall winter scent, but year-round is Byredo Mixed Emotions. I smelled this uh, for the first time when we were visiting Miami, me and my girlfriends, and I fell in love at the Webster. Okay, so this is also very moody, moody, earthy, a little bit more beachy though. Um, it has a slight spice to it, but but it's. Very, very slight, very slight, and a little sweet, like like a um. I feel like I smell a little, like a toasted coconut, with. Oh, I don't know, a little bit of zest. Ha. <sighs> But it smells like a little bit of smoky. There's a smokiness to it. It's like a smoked coconut with a little bit of zest in it. Mmm. So good. So freaking good. And then we have Mudao. So Mudao is... Oh, it's so earthy. And I feel like it grounds me. Every time I smell Mudao... It just grounds me. So there's some there's some vanilla in there. There's a bit of marshmallow. There is a hug from an auntie already in that. So you'll just be returning the hug if your aunt is hugging you. Um What else is in there? What else is It smells like a little bit of leather. A little bit of leather. <laughs> mm. This was just so scrumptious. I, I could just eat it. Okay. Okay. So this is a newer fragrance that I just got put on to by my girl, Shaniqua J, Simplicity Time Style, or Simplicity X Style. I should ask her, right? I think it's Simplicity by Style. Time Style. 
multiply by style. Okay, anyway. So she put me on to Maison Margiela fragrances. <sighs> this little bit. I should have got the bigger one. I should have got the bigger one, but I was like, hmm, I don't know. I need to really figure this out. I have so many other fragrances that I wear. So I got, the, what size is this? This is, I don't even know, like 30 milliliters. So this is a one, okay. Yeah, 30 milliliter, one ounce. This is by the fireplace, y'all. <sighs> it smells like s'mores. It has like a little bit of co cocoa in it. Um, definitely. Oh, this also feels like it has a little bit of marshmallow in it. A little bit. So what does it say? Burning wood and chestnut. I could have just told y'all that. Sorry. <laughs> Instead of me trying to break it down. But that's what it smells like to me. But it definitely smells like burning wood. It definitely smells like some type of um, chocolate might be in the back end of that. But it just smells. So, so typically, I'm an earthy, woodsy, centile type of girl. Okay. But I'm just saying for the holidays, for right now, in these moments, we want to be sitting by roast nuts. Ch uh, roasted chestnuts on the fire you know what I'm saying so we are going for our woodsy or heavier scents but a lot of these that I've chosen to share with you guys are on the lighter end it's not gonna knock you down and out <laughs> by the whiff of it y'all know what I'm talking about there's some fragrances out there that are super deep and heavy and it's a bit too heavy like it weighs you down and smushes your face Okay, we don't want that. We don't want that. So these are my four suggestions. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll put the links below. Now let's get into this sweatsuit situation. We're working with the TNA sweatsuit from Aritzia. I love this thing. I have not, I have worn it several times and I haven't even put it in a wash. Like I said, judge yourself. But Let's say, for instance, we are hosting, and this is the vibe. Um, now, let's be honest. If I'm at home, and it's just me and Carlos tomorrow, and I'm cooking, this is the vibe. I'm going to do my Ugg slides, keep it simple. That's the situation. Now, let's say I had a few people over. Let me just, let me just, sorry, let me just show you. I'm cozy. I'm cute. I could put on some knitted socks if I wanted to, to take it up a notch, but I'm good right here. Now let's say I was hosting, right? This would be the look. Let me show you. I'm thinking a little bit more refined. Yes, I keep my stuffing in my shoes. A little bit more refined situation with a lady heel. Dries, one of my favorites. There's a few on ukes.com in different colors, but I would just do it like so, okay? I'm hosting, I'm hosting, but I have a heel on, I'm super comfortable. I have the band around my waist so I don't have to worry about feeling too stuffed in my pants, and we're good to go. If I wanted to take this up a little bit further and maybe run some errands real quick or I've already hosted my dinner, now I'm going to go to the next relative's house or my friend's house, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a little bougie and I'm going to take my essential hat. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Y'all know. And I'm trying to use pieces that I discussed in my fall essentials, my autumn winter essentials video. I would just take it up a notch with her like this, with the leather, because you can never go wrong with a leather. I'm just saying, you have your layers, you're super warm. If you want to do a bodysuit in the tight underneath it just for another extra layer, then do that. But she's she, she's very she. But if you wanted to go a little bit more sportier, I have an, I have, hold on. We're going to keep the jacket. We're going to add this hat from Shop Icon. Okay. Oldie but goodie. Oldie but goodie. We're going to put her back because we keep our things nice around here. Okay. We're going to 
These, no, these are not the same stuffings that came with the shoe, but <laughs> that's okay. And I'm going to take, don't pay attention to the fact that I'm not wearing socks, but you get the point. With some scrunchy socks. It's giving Baltimore, oh my God. Now, I told y'all before, when I was growing up in Baltimore, it was Nike boots and these, okay? So it's giving Baltimore, it's giving home for me with the slouchy socks, sweatpants, scully, yeah. But this could be your sporty. <laughs> I gotta go get some gas real quick. Oh, I forgot the half and half. Oh, you need brown sugar? Did you forget the maple syrup? I could go get the pecans. This is it. This is the vibe. And she's comfy and cute and cozy. <sighs> All right, so let me do another ensemble. You know I'm going to keep it darker colors because, child, listen, y'all can really run to Aritzia or Target really quickly to get these pieces together. Just saying. So hold tight. Hold tight. I have a few more suggestions. Okay. So, I'm back with an oversized turtleneck sweater that I got from Zara like last year and matching leggings. Now, this is a little bit more sleeker than the sweatsuit set because, you know, it's closest to the body. But, isn't she lovely? Isn't she precious? So, obviously... This is an easy set, okay? As soon as I saw it on Zara's website, I was like, yeah, that's a no-brainer. They have several renditions of it now in different colors as well, but I figured this could be a really sassy, frassy look too. Honestly, if I were hosting people tomorrow, I think I would prefer this look over the sweatsuit look, but I'm just saying, now that I'm looking at it, I'm seeing what's happening, I'm feeling this look a little bit more. So, yeah. Ooh, let, me, let me pull her down. Let me pull her down. I think she's cute. She's really cute. Um, let me figure out a shoe I would do with this one. If I'm hosting, I might go with my Louis Vuitton Oxfords. Yeah. I think that would do it. And I have a couple other ideas, too, if I want to get a little bit more, you know, zesty. Listen, I think everyone should have one of these situations to help the back of your foot not squash your shoe. Just easier access. But then again, I should be wearing some type of sock with these. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> okay, what well, would you like? Would you like an orange juice and champagne? -a? Would you like some of my five cheese macaroni and cheese dish? Mm-hmm. Because that's one of the sides I'm making. Boop, 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 boop. It is so cozy. It's easy. It's easy. But, like I was saying, you're done hosting. Now your friend is having a, a thing, a little shinding after their dinner. What do you wear? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm excited for Thanksgiving, guys. I really am. Wait, hold on. Would I do this or would I do, would I do this? I think I would actually do these boots. So, my trusted Dries bought secondhand boots that I adore and let's see uh, uh, I feel it in my bones let's see how I feel using my cape this is a vintage cape from Suno my mentor Nadia Spencer was the prog developer at the brand when they came up with this and this was one of my favorite coats that they made but yes isn't she chic and this is something I've had for years and there's a huge trend with coats that have scars uh, scarves attached to them so where's the hole oh 
yeah i'm feeling her she's really cozy and let's see let's see no it's too much going on for me i think i would keep it super simple you know the other day i realized i'm not really i'm not a bad girl and i have been looking at the internet to figure out what would be my next bag purchase to like elevate my collection of bags and i have no clue y'all comment below and tell me what you think my next bag purchase should be and not don't go burping crazy because like she no that amount of money not right now but maybe soon in life but not right now i'm talking about something that's a lot more affordable but cute and you know says i'm serious about my life and i know how to dress really well that's the kind of bag I want. Comment below. What are your suggestions? What bag should I get next? But this is something I would just literally throw on to keep keep with my friends after we've all stuffed ourselves and still have room for dessert. Because you're always going to have room for dessert. Just saying. But yeah. This is really chic. And it's a no-brainer. You have your set. You're warm. You're cute. And you're good to go. How else would I style this though? Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go. I nicknamed this vest Big Bertha because it's a, <laughs> it's a men's coat technically. But I'm sorry. Excuse me. I double used you. But she's an extra large and super oversized on me. This looks crazy on Carlos. But I'm going to make it work, baby, because we went to a sample sale a couple, like a week or so ago. It was mayhem. There was not a lot left. And I grabbed two coats, and this was one of them. And I really enjoyed this aesthetic. Okay, guys, I have a confession. I'm not doing great with my with my shelving here. But we're gonna we're just gonna keep it pushing. See how reckless I have it going on down here? Let me see. Would I like this? Is this giving something? Is this giving something? This is giving a lot. <laughs> Nothing that I asked for. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna take her out. We're gonna take her out for a second. You know what? Actually, I would do a moment with this oversized situation. Yep. And there you have it. Yeah, I would do this. I would do this. I'm it's I'm, I'm getting hot. So forgive me if I don't put the other shoe on, but you see what I have going on, right? Yeah, I would totally do. I would stuff this down first of all. So, let's do this first. I'm already burning up. I'm hot because this is something I suggest you do this when you only have the legging on, nothing else. So if you have the legging on, don't put anything else on until you finish the boot situation because you're gonna break a sweat. But once it's finished, it's a really beautiful look. And what I do suggest when you do that, right? Okay, Ooh, So make sure you have a sock over this area so it can smoothly go up, right? And I would not suggest this outfit if you're going to someone's house that they require you to remove your shoes at the door. Think about those things. But yeah, she's cute. She's she's ready to hit the slopes though. She's ready to hit the slopes and this is reversible, which I really liked about it. Um, but yeah, an oversized vest, a set of over the knee boot, little Bottega Ega for ya. And you're good to go. I really like this fit. This is cute. This is cute. I'm gonna throw in a couple of <laughs> rich auntie outfits in here. I'll be right back. Okay. So notice this. I am not putting in anything that is super restricted around the waist. We're doing elastic or loosey goosey. That's what I'm sticking to because who wants to be sitting down and all of a sudden you feel like you got to go to the bathroom or you can't eat anymore because your waistband is too cinched. So I'm starting off with this situation here 
and I'm thinking cardigan. Like I said, I'm taking pieces from the Autumn Winter Essentials Guide and I'm mixing them into these outfits. So let's do a cardigan. I'm gonna do, y'all know how I feel about Kif cardigans. Cause those guys, they know a good schoolboy situation. So I'm thinking here, we're going to do a little Cardi moment and I'm going to add some jewelry to assess really quickly. Is she, I'm going to go here. Okay. So I'm going to take some pieces from Dylan X LA based brand costume jewelry brand love their stuff love the owner drew no i don't know her personally but i feel like all after all these years i kind of do you know all right so we're just gonna layer up there and i'm going to do hmm i'm gonna do it you know what First of all, girl, because you, you can actually be worn with a sock. She can be worn with a sock. I'm going to do this. Yes, girl. Tie in the silvers. You can actually mix pearls into this aesthetic if you wanted to. But this is a vibe. She's a vibe. She's a vibe. The mirror is right here, so let me just double check myself. But I love, sorry, I have to do something a little weird. Got to take this thing underneath the boobies. Okay, and this is, yep. So this is the vibe. I'm giving you a platform moment, layered silver jewelry, a easy cardigan, a very forgiving waistband and wide leg jeans. Very relaxed, very cool and chic. And you're good to go. If you want to layer some rings, do it. Be my guest. But look, this is a, honestly, it's the most simplest pieces with the most out there accessories or unexpected accessories. And you're good. And you have way like you have enough room to do what you need to do. So this is definitely one of my rich auntie situations here. I would love to wear this, especially if I'm going to go see my god kids. Like this is something they're high energy running around all the time. I could simply take off my sandals, keep some socks on and slide around the house with them going crazy. Like this is easy. I don't care if something gets like a little bit of oil on these jeans will actually add character. Just saying. So, yeah, I'm down for this. This is, this is the vibe. This is the vibe. Y'all, this is, this is the vibe for a lot of, oh my, I really love this outfit. I had it in my head. Don't you love it when you have, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm ADD. Don't you love it when you have an outfit in your head and then it actually executes? Girl, like, I feel like I have my things together in life. Okay, so the next rich auntie moment i'm thinking i'll be right back okay so for my final look this is my bougie auntie situation i would do this um again elastic skirt this is from my girl terrell dominic's collection and then we have the mew mew sweater that actually can extend to down here i would either do it and forgive me but this is what i do when i'm styling in my head this is what I do in real life. I put two different things on my feet sometimes. So I would actually go with this aesthetic or because I've been dying to wear these. But honestly, I needed to get a couple of more knitted socks to make sure that I had like enough black socks to go with this. I would actually wear this outfit with these. So let me do let me do both looks for you guys. This is to me. This outfit is an ode to the aunt that understands 
she gets it she's the cool kids cool kid actually she is the foundation she understands the arts she's a world traveler she really doesn't give a flying hoo-ha what you think about her so this is the aunt that i aspire to be and she's going to eat because she has elastic around her waistband. She doesn't give a damn. And she's not going to wait for the kids to get served first. She's going to serve herself first. Just saying. So, or I would go with, obviously, there's a popper red in here. But I would extend the popper red, switch it up a little bit, and go with this. Bottega Mule situation here. And if I'm feeling snazzy, that's the vibe, that's the vibe. I'm also thinking, listen, it, not, it might not be Chanel, but it's Eero, and I think that it still gives what needs to be given. And I would just gracefully put this over my shoulders to create more texture more bewilderment and i'm pulling from colors between both of these areas and i think it's a really nice mishmash this is as bougie as we're going to get on this day because at the end of the day we're not even bringing purses we're bringing spoons forks knives and tupperware and some aluminum foil okay as the accessory as the accessory but listen think about these things as you're approaching your relatives and friends homes actually let me sit down for this and then we're going to close this out okay at the end of the day i want you guys to be super safe this holiday season so remember if you're drinking get an uber or get someone sober to drive you home so when it comes to these outfits think about a few things will you have to wear socks upon arrival and taking your shoes off at this person's house because if you have a hole in your sock you're going to be embarrassed so make sure your socks are on point and it matches your outfit, okay? The second thing is too, you may not know this, but think about the colors. Like if I were to wear that black sweatsuit to a friend's house that might have a white boucle sofa or pillows that have a lot of um, like lamb fur, something that would, might transfer and stick to your outfit and you're gonna need a lint roller for it. Think about that. Think about the colors in that regard. Um, Think about if you're okay with certain things having oil dripped on, if you're going to be helping out in the kitchen, you know, are you okay with getting something dirty if they don't have an apron or whatever. If the kids touch you with something, are you going to be okay if there's a little mark or wear material that can get it out easily? Think about these things. But at the end of the day, elastic, elastic, elastic waistbands is the key to fulfilling your belly to a happy space. You don't want to be restricted tomorrow. No. So I will definitely post a short on what I actually wear because I'm not wearing this tomorrow while I'm cooking these sides. We're ordering crab cakes from Papa's in Baltimore. And I'm making uh, sweet potatoes, mac and cheese, a couple other things too. But let me know what you're going to wear. What outfits did you like from this situation? Because these are pieces, fragrances, and jewelry jewelry um statement jewelry pieces that i would wear i would really like to hear what you guys plan on wearing or if you do take an outfit inspo from here can you send me a video i want to see it i love when you guys share the inspos and what you guys turn out from your outfits um i really really enjoy that make sure you comment below click the like button please give me a thumbs up if you're down with me okay and tell your friends hit the subscribe button Bless your heart for staying on with me this long in the game. And be safe tomorrow. Have a great time with your friends and families. And if you're not with anyone and you are spending this time alone, take the time to get a little bit of reflection in. Watch a really good movie. Eat hearty if you can. Drink a lot of fluids. And just count your blessings, whether or not you're with family or on your own or whatever your situation is. And if anything, child, reach out to me on that community button. Okay, I'll be listening to some messages there, so send me something if you need to talk. I'll see y'all later on Friday. I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet, but I'm going to be there. I hope y'all are okay. I'll see y'all later. Bye, lovelies.